nkuko minister bivuze kare I'm not young anymore Ndagize akarengane ndu munyarwanda kazi jante yigikomere cyo kumva ko da republika papa w'abanyarwanda uri hano kuko na senzi imana kugira ngo nkubone nkuko uhaguruka ngo urwanda ni rukababare ukanga kwikiremwa umuntu cyababazwa nange mpagurutse kubwa gahinda ku mwana wanje nagiye kubyara mfite randevu ya kubagwa kuko umwana uyo akurikira nari narabazwe ibitaro bimbira ko birambaga sambiriza mu gitondo bigera samu nani bataraza kumbaga umwana akazaga kubita umutwe kuri sonde ndatabaza barambira ngo baraje baraje baje sa 11 basanga umwana yarangije gusufrira mu matako bakuruza vantuzi bivira mu mwana wanje kubora ubwonko na thank you Thank you. Claire, Bruce, do you want to introduce yourself as well? Oh, Murahoneza. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> oh, my name is Bruce Melody. I'm an artist, music artist. Uh, also, I'm a co-owner of a basketball team. Uh, United, United Generation Basketball, Changwase UGB. Uh, this is a great opportunity for me as a young Rwandan who has been in Rwanda since I was born. I'm now 31 years old. Who uh, minister <laughs> I'm not young anymore. Nishimiye kuba ndaha ndiro kumwe nabantu beza nkamwe. Thank you so much. Well, that was a surprise. <laughs> yeah. Uh, as I said, I'm from Kigali, I'm from Rwanda. I was born and raised there, and that's where I started my career as an artist. Uh, talking about entertainment facilities, as, as, as you mentioned, uh, it's, it has been very, very hard for an artist like me uh, to perform or to organize your own event but you remember when I launched, I launched my 10 years event, like my 10 years celebration of my career in Kigali Arena. That's when I realized like our entertainment has been doing it for a long time. And I would say that uh, this, this entertainment facilities put our country on the global stage. It promotes our culture, and those who come to get to our country, uh, they go back with our culture and they go back with uh, our music. That's, that's, that's how we become, we, we, we become promoted. I'll give you an example. Uh, one of the guy whose name is Steve, uh, he's a uh, one of the members of the record label here in America, which is called Ace Carve Record. He had my music when he was in Kigali, and he, he liked my songs. He contacted me, and now I'm working with Hollywood. <laughs> through, through that person, and that's where the, the collab with Shaggy came from. So. Uh, back in the days, I used to go, when I started to travel, trying to promote my music, I used to go outside of the country, and when I said I'm from Rwanda, people used to confuse it, they'd be like, wow, you Rwanda, Uganda? 
And I'll be like, no, I'm from Gwanda. But now, here we are. Last year, I came here in America. I did my tour to promote my music. And everywhere I went, they know Rwanda. And they know us very well. So, uh, it's, uh, it's very, very good. Uh, as I said, I was born in 92. To some, at the, at, this, at the point I was like, maybe I was born in the wrong timing or what, but not really because I'm happy that I have seen all these 30 years with my own eyes. I've seen the country growing. It was very hard for the last, last time because performing in front of people like you, people used to be sad to the point that you tell them to clap and they cannot. Through the entertainment and all this, we entertain people, people are happy back at home. Uh, have you heard about this comedy and music, basketball, football? So this, if, uh, if it wasn't the entertainment uh, facilities, this is, could not be happening like this. Thank you. And I would like to speak to young people here. Uh, when we grow up, uh, by the time I was like, <laughs> I recall right now, it's Rwanda. Ejo harageze ubu noneho natwe dufite ubushobozi bwo gutekereza ku Rwanda rwejo tukarwereka cyangwa se tukaruhingero zo ku Rwanda rwe kuba rumeze murakoze Eh mwaguruke twakiranya kuba president wa republika yakuba president wa republika arahageze To Jagaze, to Jagaze, to Jagaze, to Jagaze, to Jagaze, to to Tujia agaze indiri mbo iji ugu, mwakoze chaani. Nukidu hete gahora nisha, reka tukura te tukuvuji vigui. Oh, to be a hamlet, Savanyarwa, Nuko to die. There was Sujira, see his mite. Thank <laughs> you.
Murakoze cyane murakoze cyane dushobora kwicara Thank you Thank you Thank you very much Thank you Uh, where do I start from? <laughs> so to our ambassador, with all the kind words and everything, let me say, uh, maybe Rwanda got the leadership Rwanda deserved. And I'm saying this to remind all of us that um, nothing works just because of one person or one leader, but uh, things work because of the collective effort. So for Rwanda to deserve, uh, as I said, the leadership uh, they got, it's indeed because Rwanda, uh, and Rwandans together have done things uh, that um, therefore they deserve to be moving in the right direction. So thank you. Now, I'm here. I've been here for the last couple of days um, for a number of reasons. The first was the invitation I received to come and uh, join and be part of prayer breakfast. And I thank uh, Grace, whom I see here in front of me in this room. Thank you for doing that. So I came. We prayed. We had breakfast. Everything went according to plan. I'm grateful. But coming here for prayer breakfast gave me a number of opportunities. One was to meet uh, many other people here in the United States, uh, public and private people who serve in those capacities. I also met, well, this time I'm meeting Rwandans from across the world, I should say. <laughs> Meeting the Rwandans in this sense, Rwanda Day is not just another addition to the program I had. It's a very important part of why I had come here even to answer the invitation I received for prayer breakfast. Because I normally, 
even for just Rwanda day on its own, I have traveled places to meet and address a gathering like this. So all those were very important uh, tasks for me to carry out while I was here. The other part is um, equally important. I want to take this moment to thank, let me start with Rwandans who have come from all over the world and are here with us and we are going to have a, a good conversation. But I want to thank the friends of Rwanda who, have not, uh, who are no longer just friends. They have become uh, Rwandans, they have become uh, family, if I will say. <clears throat> there are those who uh, have just spoken to us. Senator Inhofe, uh, Pastor Rick, and there are many others uh, sitting here in this audience that I have seen and can see now and others. Um, they've become for the last 30 years, some of them, in actual fact, part of who we have become and who we are. So I wanted to thank you. I won't take the risk of uh, naming them. I don't want to leave anyone out of the list that I would wish to spare out. They are here. Anyway, that's the most important thing, and I can see them, and I can thank them when they are here. So there are things that uh, happened during this time I've been here. There are things that didn't happen. You know, some people sometimes want to highlight what didn't happen. But I want to highlight what happened that was very important for me and for Rwanda. Our journey has been uh, quite long and uh, trying, uh, difficult. But that's the beauty of it, uh, that we are where we are through those, those difficulties. We have endured, we have survived. We want to do just as much to be better human beings to be where we want to be. Some people in other parts of the world have taken for granted. We will be there no matter what. <clears throat> this is what we said from the beginning. Thirty years ago, now we're covering thirty years since uh, the worst tragedy 
in our country. But we believed. We wanted to live our lives. Even so many lost theirs. And we promised ourselves. You know, uh, there is a, I think people say, that uh, lightning does not strike twice in the same place. Doesn't strike the same place twice. Maybe. But for me, I want to be on the safe side. I would rather make sure and prepare for a situation where Rwanda that was struck once badly in 94 will not be struck again. I want us Rwandans not to take chances. We just have to ensure that we are not going to be struck again. And um, that is possible. We just have to prepare. our defenses, build our capacity. You know, with the, with the lightning, which I was giving a, uh, the example of, there is uh, something, maybe in some languages they call it something else, or even in the same language, English, but I know it as a lightning conductor. You put it on a house, and when uh, the lightning strikes, everything goes down to the earth and leaves the building uh, and the people and things intact in the house which was the house. So we have to make sure that we put in place this uh, protective mechanism. And that's going to be by every one of us being prepared and working together to ensure that uh, that does not happen again. Earlier, the young lady mentioned something, and I quickly, to my mind, I knew where the story came from. Uh, somebody must have uh, let out our conversation, which was a bit... Uh, private, and I know it must have come from Maasai, who I'm seeing in the crowd. Uh, what he didn't tell you was that, uh, apart from scratching my head, I was busy turning my pockets and <laughs> wondering where the money is going to come from. Uh, but nonetheless, I... I even then, I was convinced all that is possible. It is possible, it's going to be possible 
in many other cases because of uh, what I said earlier, just working hard, preparing ourselves, learning lessons from our past and history, building on that, moving ahead into our future, which must be better than our past. And you know, human beings are capable of many things, uh, some of them as bad as what happened 30 years ago in our country. But human beings also have the capacity to do good things like Rwandans have repaired what was destroyed, including our lives, and we are much better now than we were 30 years ago. We just have to keep going. I was going to say don't relax, but I want you to relax. Only that you remember that uh, while you relax, you also, parallel to that, you need to be doing the right things, the right way, and the right speed. All right? Um, I've also heard people say, if you want to go fast, you go alone. If you want to go and reach far, you have to go together. You know, I want us to go together, but I want us to go fast and reach far, both of them. I don't think there is any contradiction. You can go far, and fast at the same time. That's what our situation compels us to do. And we must, must think like that. We must be able to do things and move fast, but we want to go far at the same time. And we really have ourselves either to blame or, or to thank for succeeding. Nobody else. Don't, don't blame. If one has failed, don't start looking for excuses and say, you know, somebody somewhere, and then you start talking about the colonial times, you start talking about, no, no, no. Those are over, behind us. So, so don't, don't, uh, let, let's not use an excuse. Uh, uh, we, we, we must, uh, though of course in, uh, in our region uh, and uh, we see on our continent, we still have a lot of problems to overcome, but they can be overcome. There's no question about it. Um, and we need to keep uh, trying to work together base what we are doing on facts, on truth, on evidence and measure what we are doing, where we have come from and where we have reached and then you try to investigate to find what is it that uh, delayed us, what is it that failed us, and, and you fix it, and we have to fix that. We are capable um, and please, as Rwandans, 
we can't afford to waste the lessons learned from our tragedy. There are so many lessons, including that sometimes in time of need, you are on your own. So you prepare for when that time comes. If you were to be left on your own, you can still do something and survive and live and make progress. But that does not preclude working together with others and learning from them and benefit from what they offer. So these are things we saw for one who came from uh, different places and uh, friends of Rwanda whom I mentioned too. The reasons for Rwanda Day um, to start with is to make sure that every Rwandan who is outside of Rwanda is connected with his or her home wherever they are. You can leave Rwanda and go wherever you want to go, but Rwanda should not leave you. It stays with you. So maybe if you stayed with it in some form, it's good for all of us. It's good for Rwanda, it's good for you and it is doable. That's why uh, whenever I have an opportunity, we have this Rwanda Day. We have had so many here in the United States. We have had uh, more than a dozen of them. We have had them in Canada, in Europe, in in Africa itself, in Asia, and, but more here in the United States. And uh, we will have more. Rwanda. So we are here now 30 years after the tragedy. And I know since 94, many of you are about that age, 30 years, plus, minus, but around that. I want to ensure that we understand that our future, your future, is in your hands. The young people of our country want to be able 
to rely on you, to believe in you, to get a sense that you've been brought up in a manner that is going to be meaningful and uh, to put Rwanda in a place where it deserves to be. It's upon you. Those are choices that you have to make. And I don't see why you wouldn't make those good choices that will enable it to happen as we want it. So those in business, in politics, in philanthropy, in faith organizations and different things, we welcome you, we thank you for many things you're already doing. But uh, we have to be aware there is more to come. There is more expected from all of us. Um, so that's the pleasure of being here and thanking you for what you're already doing and urging you to do more. Asking you to do more isn't like uh, making you feel that what you are doing is a thankless job, but just the reality of uh, our situation and what is expected of us. So, and I said, uh, where do I start from? I'm now struggling to find a way of ending this one. <laughs> but I want to once again thank you. I think we have uh, another part where we're going to have a conversation. And uh, I hope we all enjoy that part as well. God bless you. The Republic of Papua and Rwanda, Uri Hano Kukona sends Imana Kujirango Mubone. Nasabye ijuru ngo rizakumpa ariko ndakubonye Imana ishimwe Papa wanje nkuko uhaguruka ngo Rwanda nti rukababare ukanga kwikira mwe umuntu cyababazwa nange mpagurutse kubwa gahinda ku mwana wanje kandi nziko urwaniro kuri kandi urwanira gutsinda nagiza karengane ndu munyarwanda kazi nitwaje amahoro na dine nagiye kubyara mfite randevu ya kubagwa kuko umwana uyo akurikira nari narabazwe ibitaro bimbira ko birambaga sambiriza mu gitondo banya bikasonde bigera samuna ni bataraza kumbaga umwana akaza gakubita umutwe kuri sonde ndatabaza kubera hari umugango umwe barambira ngo baraje baraje baje sa 11 basanga umwana yarangije gusufrira mu matako bakuruza vantuzi bivira mu mwana wanje kubora ubwonko na ibitaro bya Faisal Biranzi Dr David niho mukurikiranye kubwonka mbira ko umwana wanje atazarenza ukwezi ariho ariko imana ira muri nzu bagiye kuzuza imyaka 5 imana yampaye umugisha wo kugera muri iki gihugu ubuzima bwari bukomeye nzako hano nkuko mu buzima bukomeye najya gafaisari 
ariko naremenza mu mujyu henze kugira ngo nkurikirane ubuzima bw'umwana wanje muvuriza ku bitaro bikomeye bya Children National Washington nabo bambiye ko ubwo ngo bwe bwaboze kuva ku munsi wa mbere avuka kugeza ku meza rindwe nisonde bayambi kugiye kubagwa nyakubaho narajuriye nubwo ndaha ariko ubushobozi bwanje nakubwa binyemereraga uvuga rimwe bigatungana kandi ikibazo winjiye muragikemura cyaka kukuri kugaragara byante yigikomere cyo kumva ko mu bushobozi buke mfite ngomba gufasha abana babana no bumuga nk'ubu ngubu mu karere ka gicumbi mfite abana bagera kuri 12 mfasha mu mafaranga make nshobora kubona nkibuka ko kurya umusokoro hari cyo wabafasha nkabohereza mu mushahara wose nabona kugira ngo babone pampa abana babana no bumuga babyeyi tubatwara ha hamutse nta kiza tubona mu maso yacu harimo abo bita bama debile numva hakeneye uburenganzira nubundi bufasha bushoboka ku buryo ni umwana wange yarenganurwa ntago nzabikora ngenyere numva nakora ikigo kitwa rogani gifasha abo bana babana no bumuga nyakuba wa president murakoze ikibazo cyanjye cyari icyo nkuko haguru kurengera urwanda ukabwo waje gushaka abanyarwanda bawe hano nange mpagurukiye umwana wanje murakoze imana ibaho umugisha thank you so much